Well, hey guys, how you doing? So I had a cool dream last night. So before I went to bed, I prayed and I asked Jesus, I was like, Jesus, you know, um, if you want me to know, you know, when the rapture is, that would be great. You know, just give me a dream, whatever. Well, last night he gave me a dream of a moon, but it was like, I think Jessica calls it a waning moon, which I don't even know what that is, but um, it had like clouds through it and like swirls and stuff. And it was very cloudy, but it was like mid evening and it was a normal day. Um, <clears throat> there was a guy next to me in the truck and he was just blowing his nose. It was like a normal day. People were out shopping, but I think it was like, I remember I was driving in the car and it was just like, um, uh, an evening night, you know, like we were just out and about, you know, right before it got dark, um, mid evening. And then the next scene, oh, and then there was two dots on top of the moon. So Jess was saying something about twins, you know, so that was interesting. I'm not sure what that represents, but um, <clears throat> I don't know anything about the signs of heaven, do you guys do? Um, and then, so the next scene was me reading something in the car and it was like really big words and I didn't understand any of it. And I was like, Jess would know. And then I woke up. <clears throat> So it was strange. It didn't give me a date or anything, but more signs in the heavens. Okay, I claim that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. He's also God. He came to earth as a man in the flesh. He died on the cross. He shed his blood on the cross, and he rose on the third day. Um, ignore the telegram and the WhatsApp people because they're trying to scam you. Okay, so here's a message, and I figured out something cool. So I feel like God is giving me messages like late at night because he's kind of showing the difference between our time and Israel time. If that makes sense, which is why I'm like always a day behind. I always thought that was cool. Okay, May 4th, 2023. Second Thessalonians 2, 6 through 8. And now you know what is restraining that he may be revealed in his own time for the mystery of lawlessness is already at work. Only he who now restrains will do so until he is taken out of the way which is the church, <clears throat> and then the lawless one, lawless one will be revealed, whom the Lord will consume with the breath of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming. Mark 1 11. <clears throat> then a voice came from heaven, you are my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. James 2 5. Listen, my beloved brethren, has God not chosen the poor of this world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom which he promised to those who love him? Luke 14, 13, or 14, 3. And Jesus answered, spoke to the lawyers and Pharisees saying, is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath? What, Dobby? Dobby says hello. <laughs> um, Jeremiah 22, 20, and then dash two. Then Pasher struck Jeremiah the prophet and put him in the stocks that were in the high gate of Benjamin, which was by the house of the Lord. Leviticus 3, 5. And Aaron's son shall burn it on the altar upon the burnt sacrifice, which is on the wood that is on the fire as an offering made by fire, a sweet aroma to the Lord. Okay, here's the message. Danger, my child, drone attacks. A field of magnetic centricity, the stars fall. High winds, mother nature takes its recourse. It's what they are berating. I have no idea what that means. Do you see the turning point? Do you see my hour now? Did you look at Enoch chapter 22? It shows a lot. It's foreshadowing the events to come. Do you see the ending now? Lights, camera, action, movie set, one big screen, one mirrored image. Who is the prodigal son? And has the journey been made from the stars? It's all coming, my child, and you will understand. It will all be revealed very soon. I told you the halo around the sun and the moon shows my coming is nigh. The darkness is coming. My light show is coming. <clears throat> the death toll reaches its highest peak. It's the wage of sin and death. Believe and trust in me, child, before it's too late. My door is closing. Sadness will prevail. So many missing. So many heartbreaking parents looking for their children. If only they would have had believed they could have been with them. Once Harpazo takes place, it's going to get scary very fast. <clears throat> Looting, rioting, sorry, I'm so stuffy in the mornings. <clears throat> Panic, chaos, and martial law will kick in. Pandemic is going to start increasing. 
multiple pandemics, lockdowns and curfews will be in force. My judgment commences and my wrath will pour down. Earthquakes, famine, pestilence, natural disasters, and lots of seismic activity. But you won't doubt my existence. That will be revealed to you soon. The proof is all there, just hidden from the public. The elites know, Satan knows. They are preparing for what is coming. Give me your whole heart, child, and I will save you. There is no other way. I am the truth, the way, the life, and no one can come to the Father except through me. So delight in me. Let me take away your burdens. Believe in me, I will give you rest. I wish all to be saved and no one to perish. I am your Redeemer, your Rescuer, your Lord God, and I have spoken. Enoch 22, 1. And from there I went to another place, and he showed me in the west a large and high mountain and a hard rock and four beautiful places. Number two, and inside it was deep, wide, and very smooth. How smooth is that which rolls and deep and dark to look at? That's from Proverbs fifteen twenty four. Then Raph, number three, then Raphael, one of the holy angels who was with me, answered me and said to me, these beautiful places are there so that the spirits, the souls of the dead might be gathered into them. For them they were created so that here they might gather the souls of the sons of men. That was 1 Peter 3, 18 through 20, 1 Peter 4, 6, Psalm 68, 18, and Ephesians 4, 8 through 10. Number four, and these places they made where they will keep them until the day of judgment, until their appointed time. And that appointed time will be long until the great judgment comes upon them. That was 1 Peter 3, 18, 20, 1, 1 Peter 4, 6, Psalm 68, 18. Ephesians 4, 8 through 10. Number five. And I saw the spirits of the sons of men who were dead and their voices reached heaven and complained. That's Genesis 4, 10. Number six. Then I asked Raphael, the angel who was with me and said to him, who is this spirit whose voice thus reaches heaven and complains? Number seven. And he answered me and said to me saying, the spirit is the one that came out of Abel whom Cain, his brother killed. And he will complain about him until his offspring are destroyed from the face of the earth. And from amongst the offspring of men, his offspring perish. Genesis 4, 3 through 8. Genesis 4, 9 through 11. Matthew 23, 35. Luke 11, 51. And 1 John 3, 12. Joel 2, 11. The Lord gives voice before his army for his camp is very great. For strong is the one who executes his word. For the day of the Lord is great and very terrible who can endure it. Matthew 13, 7, and some fell among thorns and the thorns sprang up and choked them. Job 13, 3, but I would speak to the Almighty and I desire to reason with God. Ezekiel 21, 9, son of man, prophesy and say, thus says the Lord, say a sword, a sword is sharpened and also polished. Ezekiel 21, 9, oh, that was Ezekiel. Uh, Colossians 1, 4 through 6. Since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of your love for all the saints because of the hope which is laid up for you in heaven, of which you heard before in the word of the truth of the gospel, which has come to you as it has also in all the world and is bringing forth fruit as it is also among you since the day you heard and knew the grace of God in truth. Deuteronomy 2, 9. Then the Lord said to me, do not harass Moab nor contend with them in battle, for I will not give you any of their land as a possession because I have given R to the descendants of Lot as a possession. Exodus 14, 6. So he made ready his chariot and took his people with him. John 3, 5. Jesus answered, most assuredly, I say to you, unless one is born of water in the spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. And that's the entire message. That's everything that I heard, guys. Um, you know, always take everything to Jesus. Pray to him. Ask the Holy Spirit for confirmation. And let's just keep looking up. Because I feel like it's really soon. And it is our faith, guys. And our belief in him. And he'll do the rest. He's going to change your mind. He's going to change your heart. He loves everyone. And he doesn't want anyone to perish. Um, so, I love you guys. Keep praying to the Lord. Keep seeking him. Keep Ooh. worshiping him. Say goodbye, Dobbies. Say goodbye. Say I love yous. I love yous. He's blind. He's my boy. Okay. Have a blessed day, guys.